Hey guys, Merritt from thermal-medics.com. Listen, talking about the contactor real quick. You guys are doing a great job out there check, testing here on that plunger to check the outdoor fan motor and compressor to make sure they're coming on. The thing I want to tell you about is this coil here at the, at the uh, contactor. Right now my lead is hooked up on this side. I'm touching right over here on this side. This is the side of the contactor. This is the contactor coil where 24 volts comes in from the thermostat wire. Here's the yellow wire, which is telling this thing to actually close. So that button to pull in in the middle, that plunger, allowing 240 volts to pass from the bottom up to the top and get everything energized. So if you push that button, right, and nothing's going, and nothing's coming on, yeah, you're looking at compressor, outdoor fan, uh, run capacitor, maybe a power issue, 240 volts even getting into this thing. But now, let's say those things uh, do work, but nothing's coming on outside. So you push the plunger in, everything is operating. But uh, you pull the plunger out, and you, the thermostat's set to cool, temperature selected lower, nothing's working. What's going on? Well, you come on here, you put your leads on both sides across the contactor coil, again, on the outsides of it, and you should get about 24 volts. If you're not getting 24 volts, you're getting zero volts, then something's going on on the low voltage side. That sends you down the low voltage path towards uh, switches, maybe pressure switches, something that's open. You have to look at the schematic. Now working your way back through that yellow wire through switches on back to the thermostat. So if that's the case and you are getting the outdoor compressor and condenser fan to come on, but you are not getting 24 volts at the contactor, then it just, this switch is not getting power. So this basically this is a light switch. Light switch isn't getting that 24 volts, it's telling this thing to close and turn everything on. So you gotta start going down that low voltage road and again, 24 volts on a yellow wire, working your way back from here back through the uh, pressure switches looking all the way back towards the thermostat and, and uh, controls that way thanks for watching guys from thermal-medics.com